<laughs> All right, Capricorn Virgo. Uh, Y'all could be dealing with an Earth sign. So this is Scorpio Cancer Pisces, part two, guys. I got cut off. So let's get into it. Let's like, get into it, guys. So you guys are definitely wanting to manifest something new or you guys are focused on manifesting um, more stability, okay? You guys can also be very passionate about your foundation or what you've grown for self, very protective, okay? You guys know where you want to go. I definitely feel like you get, you guys may have blocked off communication that you may have felt like wasn't harmonious here. And I feel like you guys can be very attractive during this time. You guys can also be finding out about pregnancy. So you, you or someone else can be pregnant around you. The Empress, Justice Averse. So I feel like someone is having to make a fair decision about a pregnancy or about their creative talents or whatever whatever they're trying to do, okay? So I'm also getting the Empress, like I said, someone's very attractive at this time. You could be very attractive at this time, but I definitely feel like you could be finding out about pregnancy. You could be between one and one and ten weeks, okay? One and five months, okay? You guys can be uh, pregnant by a fellow Scorpio Cancer Pisces, could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius, or like I stated before, Capricorn Virgo Taurus. All right, so I definitely feel like there's some type of fair decision being made. If this isn't a pregnancy, I definitely feel like you guys are very attractive, whether you guys are a guy or a girl, you guys are handsome, beautiful, okay? You guys are definitely wanting to make more balanced decisions, or you guys are wanting to make more free decisions here, because justice is weighing the pros and cons. So I feel like you guys can be make, weighing the pros and cons of either some type of creative ability or some type of um, conception. Like someone could be wanting to get you pregnant as well, or you could be thinking about becoming a mom or um building a, a more solid foundation here as well okay so i definitely see like there's some type of fear worry stress some of you guys can be uh up at night this can also be a secret so the moon reverse some of you guys can also be uh holding something back because it's like your subconscious emotion so some of you guys can be holding something back like there's a need for you guys to speak out on something or say something to someone the Queen of Swords reverse, I definitely feel like there's a need for you to cut something off, cut a situation off, a habit, okay? The Three of Wands reverse, so you can be overindulging as well and smoking, drinking, or this can be some type of, uh, it's like some of you guys, it's 3-3, three, three, so some of you guys don't want to put any, some of you guys don't want to put your time and energy into a third party situation, and this is what somebody is telling you. Someone is feeling like, Something is not going to be fruitful. The three of wands of verse is like someone doesn't want to put action into it. Someone doesn't feel like something is going to be uh, cooperative or co or cohesive. Like it's not going to be what it is. You can be ex you can be saying this to somebody or this can be what somebody is saying to you. And I feel like you guys may know that you have to cut off a situation because it's not growing or whatever you expected out of something. It's not it's not growing. This can be a family. A mother, father, child. This can be a relationship. This can be some type of situation, okay? This can be a casual sexual relationship. Whatever it is, it's not going the way that is, is, is expected, okay? I feel like someone doesn't want a third-party situation, but it's like someone is, it's like someone is involved in the third-party situation. And this can be what you're voicing to someone. I don't want to be a part of a third-party situation. Or you could be realizing that you need to cut this off because you're involved in something that's not going to be grow, uh, growing you or it is a third party situation. The Ten of Cups of Earth. Like I said, it's going to be a mother, father, child situation, a marriage situation as well. Some of you guys can be seeing that something is not coming together. Something is not going the way that you expect it when it comes to a family dynamic or a partnership, some type of situation here. Okay. Judgment reverse. There's some type of truth that needs to be spoken. So I feel like you guys are holding back the truth when it comes to a family or you may be finding out the truth about a family. Okay, this can be about a mother, about a father, about a child, your child. Okay, four swords of verse. I'm also getting paternity tests. Some of you guys can be taking some type of DNA test or someone can be getting a DNA test here. Because the three of pentacles and the ten of cups of verse, I feel like some of you guys can be finding out that someone, uh, someone... Someone may have had a child with somebody else, and this is the reason why something is not going, okay? This may have happened to your mother, your father, your mother, your father, your child's mother or father. That can be your situation growing up, or this can be your situation with your child, with your uh, kid's father, kid's mother, okay? 
So I feel like there's some type of rest needed. You guys are needing to take a rest, okay? Temperance. You guys are wanting to balance your emotions. And you guys, it's a need for like, some of you guys may be holding back the truth when it comes to uh, how you feel as well. I feel like there's a need for you guys to rest because you guys are wanting to balance your emotions here. The Queen of Cups, you guys can be very sensitive at this time. Knight of Pentacles, you guys are focusing on a goal or focusing on moving forward in your life. I'm also getting restart or start over. So some of you guys, there might be a restart or start over, okay? Some of you guys, uh, the Queen of Cups is someone that's intuitive. So someone may, someone may have been trying... Someone may have told you about this, could be a tarot reader or someone that is into tarot, someone that is into uh, a cult, okay? So I feel like some of you guys, maybe Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, I'm getting, some of you guys are balancing out your emotions or there's a need for you to temper your anger as well, okay? Because I'm getting the, the fire in the water. So I feel like there can be emotions. Or something is uh something is gonna happen when it comes to a family dynamic where your kid's mother, kid's father, your child, your mother, your father, something like that in a family, in a home, in some type of relationship here, in something. And it's gonna be it's gonna need for you to temper your anger or you guys are gonna get there's a like you guys are angry. Like that's what I'm getting, like you guys are, are mad. That's why it's a need for you guys to temper your emotions here. The Queen of Cups is also you needing to uh, maybe withdraw or be alone here. The Knight of Pentacles. You guys are focusing on something. So I feel like some of you guys can be focusing on uh, some of you guys can be focusing on tempering your anger, tempering your emotions. Okay, becoming more grounded, becoming more stable, as well. Peace, love, and I shake, guys. I'm gonna make a little mess up.